Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I am Steve Shaw, Editorial Director at TigerFitness.com. Guys, in this video, I want to talk about the overlooked strength building secret. Now, I get a lot of guys who will see my videos on YouTube. They'll see this big old 47-year-old man, old as dirt, but he's still strong. And they'll say, hey, big hairy ugly dude, I want to be like you. How can I build strength? I want to switch to a strength building program. I want to go to singles, doubles, triples. I want to overhaul my program. I want to build more strength. I want to get as strong as possible. Guys, I'm all for that. I'm a power builder at heart. I go for as much strength as possible, as much muscle as possible. That's who I am. Power, strength, bodybuilding, power building. That's the whole package. That's what I want. So a lot of these guys will come to me and they'll ask for my secrets. They'll want to know how to periodize singles, doubles, and triples. They'll want to know what program to switch to, et cetera, et cetera. The big rush that these guys are in is to jump into a strength building program. They think, most guys think, the bulk of strength is built with some magical strength building program or, or built with singles, doubles, and triples. But guys, here is the overlooked secret. The reality is 90% of my strength and 90% of the strength you're going to build is going to come from rep sets, working within the five to eight to 10, even up to the 12 rep range. You don't necessarily need a magic strength program. You don't necessarily need to go to singles and doubles and triples. Don't rush into those types of things. I built 90% of my strength working within the five to eight, maybe even up to the 10 rep range on the compound movement. These rep ranges will help you not only build strength, build a good strength base, but because you're knocking out reps, they'll help you build muscle, which will help with future strength gains, guys. So if you're a late beginner, <clears throat> excuse me, I almost choked on my words, intermediate or early intermediate, or your inter, excuse me, late beginner, intermediate, early intermediate, somewhere along those, those lines, if you're in this you know, spectrum of training, and you want to build as much strength as possible, don't just jump ship on your current program, okay? Let's say your bench press, you're working with 225. And let's say you do three sets on the bench press, say of nine, seven, and five reps. Instead of jumping ship on a program like this and trying to go to singles, doubles, or triples, go into the gym and just try to improve on one of at least one of these sets each workout so you hit nine seven and five go in the next workout try to hit ten seven and five or whatever try to add a rep on each set if you can just add one rep to each of these sets you're going to get herculean strong you're going to be stronger than 98 percent of the guys in the gym i want you to remember this secret this overlooked secret 90, maybe even higher percent of your strength is going to come from rep work. So if you do add singles, doubles, and triples, you still need to add your rep work and you still need to understand that your strength base is going to be built within these ranges. So don't just jump ship on a program. If you're going to do heavy work like that, make sure you have a base of assistance work that keeps your reps, your volume intact. You don't want to jump ship on rep work. Guys, once you build it, if you continue to focus on building a base, progressing in the five to eight to 10 rep range on your major compound movements, just trying to add one rep at a time, you will be able to progress for a long, long, long period of time. You won't hit hard walls for a very long period of time and you'll train healthier. You know, you can keep your deloads intuitive, train, train, train till you feel beat up. A lot of guys, and I see this mistake and it drives me crazy, they go into the gym and all of a sudden they get a bug in their butt that they want to be strong and they start doing singles, doubles, and triples and they beat themselves up. They're not making any progress. They're maxing every workout. They're doing near maxes every workout. They're hitting near maxes on the deadlift every workout. They're trying to progress by five pounds on their PRs every workout or darn near close to it. That is not the way you build strength. That is how you get injured. So if you're a late beginner, early intermediate or intermediate lifter, stick with the five to eight to 10 to 12 rep range on your compound movement. 
Just try to go into the gym, maximize every set, push every set for as many reps as possible, stopping that set when, number one, you feel like you might fail on the next rep, or number two, when your form goes to doo-doo, kids, when your form goes to doo-doo. Don't push sets to the point where your form is compromised. We're trying to progress, not hurt ourselves. If you push sets like this and you go in with the focus, the single-minded focus of trying to improve by one rep on each set over where you were previously, you'll be able to ride that train for a long way. You're going to add a lot of strength and you're going to add a lot of muscle in the process, which is going to help with future strength gains. Guys, that is legit. That is the overlooked secret when it comes to building strength. Build a foundation in the 5 to 8 to 10, maybe even the 12 rep range on your compound movements for as long as you can. And remember, guys, a plateau is only a plateau if you haven't progressed by one rep, one rep for four to six weeks. If you're doing the bench press and you're progressing by at least one rep, every other workout or every third workout, it's not, it's not a plateau. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, there is a link to a Q&A below. Come on over, post your questions in that q and I answer every question posted. And if you made it this far in this video and you have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I would appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And guys, on the Tiger Fitness Forum, you're on the Tiger Fitness Forum. I hope you're on the Tiger Fitness Forum because you're watching this video. And if you're on the Tiger Fitness Forum watching this video, I want you to leave a comment. I want you to leave a comment and say, I just watched a video by an old guy that actually lives.